Our artist today was definitely during the 1950s style, which if you look at your notes, you probably have down abstract expressionism. So for your time period, it's 1950s. The style is abstract expressionism. You can see that here where it is abstract, and hopefully you can see the expression part in it when this person created it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll through these. What you're going to do is try to see what is it that you see. The art here is trying to get you to think about it and your subconscious, the back part of your brain that really deals with sleeping that deals with this part of you that says hey you should do this hey you should do this I have a hunch of doing this it's tapping into that resource so what I want you guys to do is just say what these are as you look at them Here we see the size of these. These aren't small things at all. If you look at the right side, you'll see where there's like mini brochures. These are quite large art pieces. Now, hopefully these are looking familiar. They're kind of looking like probably ink blot paintings that psychologists use. And that's exactly what he was trying to capture, was trying to capture imagination and, hey, we're all looking at the same painting, but you're seeing something different than I'm seeing. Whereas it's not just a perfect barn, it's a perfect person. Everyone sees that. Here, this art allows you to kind of go off on your own and see different things different than your neighbor. Here are a few more. His name, Robert Motherwell. Robert Motherwell. Again, style is abstract expressionism. <clears throat> the most important thing that I want you guys to know is his art dealt with the subconscious mind. His art dealt with the subconscious mind. That's the most important information I want you to know. His art dealt with the subconscious mind. So go ahead and write that down. Again, Robert Motherwell, Abstract Expressionism, his art dealt with the subconscious mind. Here is the image that I am going to show you. Now, the way we like to remember it is this. Pretend that you just got invited over to a friend's house and you're at the dinner table. Everyone sit down, they're eating, you see his mom take, take a drink, a big drink of milk. And you go down and you start eating, and all of a sudden you hear this. And you look down on the floor, and this is exactly what you see. And you turn to your friend and you go, Is your mother well? Is your mother well? So the way we remember this is, Is your mother well? Is your mother well? 